Bob the Spider Hunter here. I'd like to review from you 2016 and then I'll take you into 2017 and give you some ideas as to what I'll be doing in the new year. It's been quite a year in 2016 and um, just to recap some of the things that went on in my life and I must apologize right up front to all of you dedicated viewers on YouTube who have been tuning into my spider channel. Uh, I've taken a couple of months off, which you may have noticed, um, in November and December. I'm working on my doctorate degree. I'm in the seventh year, and I hope to complete it this year with my dissertation, uh, which will be in spring. So uh, I had to take some time off from YouTube and my spider videos. You must know I enjoy that probably more than writing a dissertation. But anyway, uh, here's some things in review, and I'll be done with my dissertation, and I hope to put out, one, uh, like I used to anyway, uh, two videos, or a video about every two weeks. Let's put it that way. Uh, that's my goal. Uh, some things obviously happen to, to change that. But uh, I hope to bring some really interesting things this year in 2017, including a new introduction, kind of an older introduction. I would need to have a new introduction to my video channel. I won't do that until after I have two more videos to produce for the uh, Caribbean Spiders series. I have uh, uh, number three and number four to put out. Then we'll change the new introduction and something new for 2017. Hope you had a great new year. Here's some things in review on uh, uh, the year of uh, uh, 2016. I had some great adventures, uh, obviously outdoors and in the fields as well as um, out of the country. Uh, when I was out of the country, I was in Mexico and I was in Virgin Islands and Caribbean, uh, Bahamas. I had some great experiences in those places, checking out for spiders and other local creatures that uh, grabbed my interest. Uh, another thing that was really phenomenal for me this year is that um, I had a wonderful time in a local prairie uh, which I found umpteen RGOP spiders. That's the golden garden spider with, with the uh, yellow abdomen with the black uh, markings on, on it. Almost looks like an alien kind of making one of these things on its back of its abdomen. But anyway, I haven't seen those in a long time in this area in West Michigan. So to come across 8, 9, 10, 12, 13 of them in one little area, I was very excited. So I hope they return. I have collected at least nine different eggs from spiders uh, or weavers that I have uh, here in an aquarium that's uh, behind me over here. And uh, those are will be hatching in the spring, at least I hope most of them do. Uh, so I have all different kinds of species there and orb weavers uh, to get some great recording uh, come springtime when it warms up. Also, uh, I, I'd like to just let you know that for me it's been an exciting year, the end of this year. Uh, I not only taught at a local nature center, the DeGraff Nature Center here in, in Holland, Michigan, teaching about spiders and taking them on an actual spider hunt <clears throat> on the grounds. And then I got some publicity about that with the local newspaper, the Holland Sentinel is what it's called. And after that article came out, they gave me a front page spread. I was so excited. Did an excellent article. After that happened, um, a local Grand Rapids uh, television station uh, got a hold of me and wanted me to wanted to come to my house. And they were here for two hours. Wanted to film my story about how I hunt spiders, why I hunt spiders, and uh, that was really exciting. Made it on the news broadcast morning, noon, and evening shows for two days. So that was really exciting for me, and it opened up some more doors. I was invited to speak on a live radio broad broadcast program uh, with, a, with a, a guy, gal team, and uh, that was a lot of fun when we had a lot of laughs because one of the spiders I brought out, which doesn't make for good radio, but they put it on uh, Facebook, streamed it live, and it was a lot of fun, especially when one of the spiders escaped from my hand to the lady's hand who was gonna hold it, and she got nervous, pulling her hand away, and it fell on the floor. <laughs> that was hysterical. But it was a great year for that. And now because of that, I have other things lined up where I'll be doing some teaching, um, maybe at some schools, certainly at some maybe some summer camps and at two different nature centers in, our, in my area. So very excited how the year ended. And now, of course, uh, uh, the new year is here and well into underway. So uh, let me just show you some things I'm working on. I'll give you some quick little glimpses. And uh, after that, uh, I'll say goodbye and uh, wish you a great day. So here's some of the things that I'm working on. Over here is my latest edition. And uh, this is a 
Honduran curly hair, a young uh, tarantula. Just a little thing right now, but uh, it will be growing. It'll be about the size of my hand as it matures into full adulthood. I hope it's a female since they last a little bit longer. In this little jar, I have a, um, a cellar spider from my basement area. And uh, it's trying to make its escape here. And also, sharing the same little container, there goes the cellar spider, <laughs> is a really small crab spider with a cream-colored body and green legs. Uh, let's see if we can... There's the, uh, the little crab spider. And uh, both these spiders have, well, this spider in particular, this particular crab spider has been with me all summer and then in, into the winter. So we'll be doing more on this, uh, this little one uh, a little bit later. And this container over here is uh, the other little baby tarantula, about a quarter the size of the one I just showed you. And this one is a, um, I believe, a red knee tarantula. And it doesn't eat as much as the other one does. And it's really tiny. Likes to dig a little hole and kind of stay in it. So more on this little guy later as well. So just to give you a little glimpse of what that Fox Channel 17 television news broadcast segment was all about, here's just some clips from that particular uh, recording. Joy. All right, fair warning now to anyone with a fear of spiders, you may want to leave the room for this next story. Yes, one West Michigan man has a passion for the eight-legged creatures, and he actually spends his vacation time tracking them down. Fox 17's Doug Reardon got brave today, and Doug, you met Bob the Spider Hunter. Yeah, I did. Do you guys have, are you guys afraid of spiders? No. Absolutely. You, I, you are? I, I mean, I'm no, I'm not either. I'm tough, too. Yeah, yeah, All right, much fair enough. Well, I am a little bit. It's called, it's, it's fair. It's called arachnophobia. It's a fear of spiders, and actually it ranks as the third most common of phobias in America behind fear of death and fear of public speaking and why not the legs the eyes the webs it's easy to see why people might get creeped out by them but it's those traits that a man from zealand says make spiders so amazing and through a youtube channel that's attracted thousands of viewers he's hoping you can see what he sees they may seem creepy they may seem crawly but actually they're nothing to be afraid of if you listen to west michigan's own spider man, spider -Man, spider -Man does whatever a spider can. Uh, no not that kind of spider man Hi, I'm Bob McAndrews. I live in West Michigan, and I'm known on YouTube as Bob the Spider Hunter. That kind. With close to 5,000 followers and hundreds of videos posted to his YouTube channel, Bob McAndrews of Zealand, a.k.a. Bob the Spider Hunter, is spinning the truth when it comes to arachnophobia. Spiders get a bad rap. That's what it amounts to. And there's a lot of fears about spiders. And I always tell people... Most people are afraid of things they don't understand. So that's what Bob does, helps people understand. They feel with the little hairs on their legs that something here is in the area. A self-taught expert on the animals, Bob's travels have brought him around the world. Cancun, Mexico, St. John Virgin Islands, St. Thomas Virgin Island, yeah. Bahamas, St. Martin. Hunting, filming, and educating with the hope that people will see spiders the way Bob does. They are very, very unique and well-designed, you know, in, in what each spider does and why they have that particular uniqueness about them that makes them, uh, a, a, to me, very interesting to study and learn about. Knowledge can help remove some of that fear. He also works with local nature groups and has reached viewers across the world, even seen young fans north of the border. For Bob, I don't want to wreck her web. It's really all about having fun. Now there's just one person left to convert. Well, my, let me tell you this: my wife hates spiders. But hey, it's a cheaper hobby than golf. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. So there you go. Bob says eventually his goal, and you wouldn't like this, but his no. goal is to get to Australia, where he's going to track hopefully the peacock spider, which uh, I looked it up, and. It, it's uh, bigger than the one that he let me play with. Oh, oh man. Yeah. I, I, I'm surprised yeah. he's married. I, I, my wife would not be able to marry me if I left well, that she, yeah. she, It was funny because she walked in while we were filming and yeah. said, you know what? It's cheaper than golf. That's true. There All you right. go. So yeah, makes him happy and yeah. makes me happy. All right, All right. you have more coming up at five, right? More coming up at five. A couple fun facts for you, too. All right. <laughs> well, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this is my dog, Tansy. She's uh, my favorite pooch, of course. We spend a lot of time together, go out for walks and etc. like that. So anyway, 
fun to have. Uh, nice to have a nice animal in the house with you and to enjoy uh, the day with. And Tansy really keeps me uh, young because we go out for a lot of walks. Sometimes, oh, I don't know, 40 minute walk, hour walk. So she's been good, good for me. Well, hey, I hope your new year, 2017, uh, is off to a great start. And uh, may it just get better as the year goes on. Uh, stay tuned. More coming soon. Take care now. Bye. Not to, not to have you wash the... the uh, lots of bloopers will be in 2017, I can guarantee you. <clears throat> hey, retake, take two. Uh, <laughs> take two on that one.